Okay, finally, we're going to talk about the filter. It's not this whole section. We're going to have to break it down. There's too much going on here. Uh, but one of the main factors about the ARP Odyssey is that when Korg decided to remake it, you know, there was the big question, well, which version do you make? There were three different versions, and all three versions had different filter arrangements. Uh, the first uh, version had a 12 decibel per octave filter, which was pretty common at the time. Uh, really crunchy, great sound. The second filter was, a, was patterned after the Moog filter. And then the third filter was a uh, ARP design filter. So there, there were three different filter types. What are they going to do? Um, well, they decided, hey, why not do versions of all of them? Which I think is incredibly generous. Thank you very much, Korg. And so when you buy an ARP Odyssey, you're getting all three ARP Odysseys. That's what it comes down to. And that's amazing. That's unbelievable that you get to have three in one, no matter what the appearance is. Actually, I'm really happy that... Uh, this version is the last version because I really think the, the orange and black look is really cool. I really like the white face version because of the 12 decibel per octave, but you can have that. So it's like both cake and being able to eat the cake or however you would say that. Okay, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna give us two oscillators, a square wave from oscillator one and a sawtooth from oscillator two because thus far we haven't been listening to a lot of two oscillators at one time. And since we are going to be using the filter, I want to give a lot of harmonics for the filter to take away. Let's start off with, oh, and also duophony. Uh, yeah, we can play two notes at a time. Which is awesome. I don't think, I don't know how to say that. You'll probably see me do it a lot, but this is going to be the only time where I talk about the fact this is duophonic synthesizer. Um, you have both low note priority and high note priority and two oscillators each set to a different one. So one oscillator is looking for the highest note played, one oscillator is looking for the no lowest note played, and they, f they do it. Um, so then if you get... You'll notice the F did not play because it's in the middle. Anyway, so let's listen to this filter. This is filter one from the first ARP Odyssey, the 12 decibel per octave filter. Give it a little bit of resonance. Okay, let's listen to that. Here's a little more resonance. Pretty crunchy. And then all the way up. And that is self-oscillating in 12 decibel per octave, which is not the most common thing, but it sounds really cool. talk about some of the functions of self-oscillation uh, when we get down here but let's move on to the next filter now this filter is going to be the Moog style filter we'll start off without any resonance Here's a little bit of 
Resonance. Resonance is less overt in this setting. We're really not only getting to it until about right here. And that's where we kind of get into the real sweet spot of this filter. But that's, uh, according to this, that's just about up to self-oscillation. And then all the way up. Uh, the self-oscillation in this particular setting overpowers the rest of the sound. as opposed to uh, the first setting, where the self-oscillation just seems to add a character to the filter, which I think is really cool. But yeah, this, uh, this particular self-oscillation uh, sounds great when we start messing with it down here. And here is the third filter. Uh, a little more brash. On this, you hear the resonance come in right away. Reminds me very much of my chord monopoly that I had actually. Um, on this one, you're, you get into self oscillation really quickly. Ooh, what's that? Uh, on the third filter, you have more room to play with the whistle of the self oscillation. Uh, you can build into it, unlike on the second one. So those are the three filters. I'm going to try and do everything else I do. I'm going to try and demonstrate it. Uh, for example, here we have Keyboard CV. This is a great place to start with some of the stuff. Okay, Keyboard CV is basically the keyboard effect, which means the output from the keys controls the filter cutoff point. So you can hear it get darker as it goes deeper. Let's hear it in the, uh, let's hear it in the first filter type. Second. Third. Each of those has uh, their own unique timbre. It's really fantastic. Mm -hmm. 